In this quick video I want to show a new tool I created for my Git repository for Houdini which is to gather all the attributes and the and the groups of the geometry as a menu strip buttons inside node parameter window. So let's take a look at it. So once you install the tools, go to the sub menu and there's going to be a new option for the fetch attribute group attrib fetch buttons press on it and it's going to create a new spare spare folder and it is going to be two buttons with the option for the input index of the node and yeah and what you can do is actually to make sure that you don't have to press every time this create a fetch button you can actually just go ahead and save as a permanent default so every time you uh, uh, create any of any of these attributes, let's say other boot in MA node, it's going to be uh, there's going to be these two spare parameters already. So let's just create that. Let's create attributes, let's fetch attributes of this uh, geometry like that. You can see it's going to automatically create a sub menu and it's going to list basically all of these uh, attributes of this uh, geometry. And what's cool about this, you can go ahead and press on it. It's actually going to paste it inside your clipboard. So I just paste it and I'm going to rename something like that. My material disappeared because it's been renamed. So that's the most basic stuff of it. And for the wrangle nodes, what's cool about this era that you can actually let's I already uh, fetch these attributes and groups. You can actually, what's cool about for the wrangle nodes, well, for any, you can actually reference the input of the node index. So let's say I have a in wrangle node, I want to get some attributes from my second input, some reference, some attributes from my second input of the, for the wrangle node. Uh, and for me not to look it up every time, or maybe there's very, there's many of them. I can just go ahead say let's say I want to get from the in uh, from the index one so this is index 0 1 2 and 3 so this one is going to be the second input and it's going to fetch attributes also fetch groups you can see I have fetched all the attributes of that and I also fetch the groups of that geometry so only the difference between the this node and zero is that Something like a wrangle node can actually create attributes. So let's say in this code, I also I have created a new attribute, but this attribute doesn't exist on this. But if I generate for this node, you can see it's actually going to it's actually going to show as a as a full attribute inside here. But if I press on zero, you see it's not there. So that's the only difference. And I think that's it for this tool. And for something like a, and it's very useful for something like a, something like a Houdini node that creates many uh, many attributes, like uh, like convert to lines, which I use for creating a maze. You can see that let's say I want to reference any of these attributes, and I'm not really sure how them how they are called instead of uh, going to the node I can just uh, do this I can just fetch the attributes as you can see these are all the attributes that Houdini already created active prim line wrestling all of these which I can I just paste them inside any VEX code so that's that for this video go ahead and download it and tell me what you think and see you next time